Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The official rollout and release of Windows 11 is taking place later this year, possibly in October of 2021. And there's been a lot of concern uh, with current Windows 10 users that their PCs don't meet those minimum hardware and system requirements to be upgraded for free from Windows 10 to 11. And that free upgrade is taking place early next year, 2022. Now, obviously, if you purchase a device um, after the release of Windows 11, that device will have Windows 11 pre-installed, so you won't have an issue there. But if you are wanting that free upgrade from Windows 10 to 11, you will have to meet those hardware and system requirements. And one of those is TPM version 2. Now, there is a registry hack that currently exists that you know can make it possible to bypass TPM version 2. And a lot of uh, Windows 10 users are already uh, trying out this hack to be able to try out Windows 11 currently on their Windows 10 machines. And there is an exception to this, and that is for certain OEM customers of Microsoft, which will need special permissions and requirements um, from Microsoft to bypass version 2 of the TPM chip um, on their machines, and that is for OEM customers. But for the average user, you know, your consumer, your average home user and consumer of Windows 10, currently a, head, a registry hack is available and Microsoft has recently, unfortunately, made it uh, clear, uh, clear that um, you won't be able to use the group policy editor to um, bypass and get around the hardware requirements um, if you your Windows 10 machine doesn't meet those system requirements for Windows 11. Now, in a Microsoft tech uh, community uh, video uh, blog post, Microsoft has recently said and the reason they are doing this is to keep devices more productive, have a better experience, and most importantly, have better security than before, so they can stay protected in this new workforce. And that's just a paragraph I'm quoting from that Microsoft Tech Community blog post uh, video that recently made its way online. And they also say that the group policy will not enable you to get around the hardware enforcement for Windows 11. They say we're still going to block you from upgrading your device to an unsupported state since we really want to make sure that your devices stay supported and secure. So as mentioned, if you are thinking of using uh, the group policy editor to get around those hardware requirements once Windows 11 uh, is released officially and rolled out, Microsoft says they will block you. And it also looks like that registry hack will also not work once Windows 11 is released. Now, over and above the TPM version 2 chip as a, a hardware requirement, um, currently the uh, Windows 11 minimum requirements include the 8th generation core CPU and newer, and that's also with uh, along with the AMD Ryzen 2000 chips and up. And currently Windows 11, as many of you know, is in a you know test phase and a preview build phase over in the Windows Insider channel. And it looks like um, Microsoft could make changes to its requirements um, um, after you know the operating system is tested out in the Windows Insider channel. And as mentioned in previous videos, they could also be adjusting uh, those CPU requirements um, that will run Windows 11 on 7th gen Intel and AMD Zen 1 processors as well, and not just the 8th gen and newer and the Ryzen 2000 chips and up. So this was just a quick video to let you know that if once Windows 11 is rolled out and released, if you were thinking that you could use registry hacks and the group policy editor to bypass those uh, Windows uh, hardware requirements from Windows 10 to 11, that Microsoft says that um, that will not work once Windows 11 is released. And you, you will basically be blocked um, in the update process from doing that. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.